The Nuxio platform offers a scalable, configurable, and robust backend to handle your content. This backend can be used through the native web UI and also through a dedicated REST API. The Nuxio platform's REST API allows you to leverage Nuxio's functionalities and resources all with simple HTTP calls. Our final goal in this course will be to set up a small web interface in order to handle a custom contract document type that has been configured in Nuxio Studio. To achieve this goal, we will need to understand how we are going to manage some basic requirements. Among them is the possibility to retrieve the contract's properties. We will focus on this for now. To get started, let's take a look at how we will retrieve a contract. First off, we need to know which endpoints exist and which ones we need to make use of in order to get the document we are looking for. Several resources are at your disposal to gather this information, the major one being the Nuxio API Playground, available at nuxio.github.io slash API playground. From there, you can connect to a live Nuxio platform repository, browse, and try the existing endpoints. Endpoints are provided to handle three call types, resource-oriented calls to handle content objects like your documents, users, vocabularies, and workflow instances. Command-oriented calls are for advanced business logic execution like automation chains or workflow tasks, and batch upload calls are for file import. In this case, we are looking to retrieve a resource. We will browse the corresponding type. Two endpoints match our desire, the path and ID endpoints. If we give a try to the path endpoint with a default domain, for instance, we can see how the URL has to be built in order to do the same call in our repository, which headers have been used, and even the corresponding C URL request. This means that using the REST API is simply a matter of doing an HTTP call on a specific URL and getting some JSON in return, which means you can use it from virtually any language. Various client implementations exist for it, and we will make use of one at a later stage. So let's take a closer look at what we did. The URL called previously looks like this. This part of your server's URL followed by the REST API's base URL. You will need it in any of your calls. This is the endpoint we have been calling. Depending on the request type, endpoints will behave accordingly. In this case, sending a GET request returned the document. A POST request would have created one below it, given that the document in the request is folderish. A PUT request would have updated an existing document, and a DELETE request would have deleted the document. This is the document's path we have been requesting. We will now give it another try on our own repository. The first step will be to select a contract and get its path or ID in the repository. Doing an XML export of it from the web user interface will provide us with the information we need. The next step is to build the call. And to do so, we'll make use of the Firefox browser's REST client extension. We'll set an authentication and a content type header, and then use the path endpoint. We will send a GET request to it, including the document's path. Here is the result. Now let's study the answer's content. As you can see, it contains only basic properties by default, and none of my specific contract-related properties like the amount or its start and end date. The reason for that is because the Nuxio platform's REST API offers various granularity options to adapt calls to your needs with headers, enrichers, and adapters. Headers can be adapted to your calls in order to gather more resources. For instance, by using the X NX Document Properties header, you can decide to add more schemas into the server's response, either by specifying them or by using the star sign as a wildcard. If we give our previous example another run with this header set, you can see the result is way more complete this time, and now contains the custom properties I configured in Nuxio Studio for this document type. This looks promising. But what if we want to add various related information to our response rather than just document properties? In that case, enrichers allow to tune the server's answer too. Follow the next video to discover them.